Good day and welcome. My name is Wesley Sheffield, Chief Architect for Cloud Services at EPSA. EPSA Group is one of the largest financial institutions in Africa and has recently launched EPSA's Cloud Incubator Initiative in collaboration with Amazon Web Services. This serves to enhance EPSA's cloud skills across its Africa footprint. In today's session, we're going to discuss what EPSA's Cloud Incubator Initiative is and what it means for the business, customers, and employees of EPSA and how banks are looking to move to the cloud. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Tokazile Lewanika Mpupuni, Group Head of Leadership, Learning and Talent at ABSA, and Ibrahim Samodian, Chief Information Officer in the ABSA Technology Office. Thank you both for joining us today. Dr. Tokazile, if we could move to you, can we please unpack why ABSA needs these skills? As you know, we are living in a world of unprecedented change. Right, We are seeing shifts not just in our customer needs and requirements, but also in the world of work. This requires all of EPSA's employees to develop new knowledge, new skills and mindsets that are actually required to not just deliver our everyday jobs, but also to, to innovate. So initiatives such as this are very important to make sure that we at EPSA always have the mindset, skills and knowledge that we need to serve our customers, to create an awesome employee experience, but also to serve our communities. How will this benefit EPSA? There are massive benefits in EPSA. So the thing about 4IR technologies is 4IR technologies are only exponential when you can apply them to an idea that actually creates exponential value for customers. So what's great about this initiative is we have over 1,500 EPSA colleagues that are being trained to not just know and understand, but also to think cloud, right? So not all of these people are in technical roles where they will work directly with cloud technology, but it means we have people walking around APSA that are able to spot opportunities that APSA can use to apply cloud to, to improve the customer experience, improve the colleague experience, and who knows, perhaps also improve the community experience. So this is great because you, you get to unleash more of the APSA human quantum brain on all of the cloud opportunities across APSA. The other awesome thing about this is it allows a lot of employees to actually reimagine uh, their careers as well. So we have some people that are not in technical roles that are part of this initiative, and they're using this as an opportunity to learn more about an area that they might think to grow their career towards. Ibrahim, let's move to you. And can you give us an understanding of what cloud actually is? Thanks, Wesley. And to Kazira, you're looking as wonderful as always. Great to be on with you today. Um, so the magical question, Wesley, you know, what is cloud? It's quite simple. We use it every day, but we don't realize it. We use it in our professional lives, whether that's on Microsoft Teams, storing our documents in OneDrive, using products like Zoom. We also use it quite often in our personal lives, whether that's running our personal email or many of the apps on our phone, our personal banking and so forth. What cloud is, is it's just a different way of accessing documents and files online and in a secure way at a location that's not necessarily the physical location that we host all of our, our data centers or on our machines. APSA is one of the largest cloud adopters across the African continent, and we're very proud of that. And what are the business benefits of moving to the cloud? So there are various benefits, Wesley. First being is traditionally, IT systems get host in physical data centers. Um, so one of the big benefits is by moving to cloud, we have a huge opportunity to reduce our physical footprint. And there's also operational benefits associated to that. There are also benefits in terms of flexibility for an op organization that's trying to scale. It normally takes quite long times to order physical infrastructure. With cloud services, you have things like automatic scaling as part of the service that you purchase. There's also, it makes an organization a lot more agile in terms of wanting to venture into new products that we're trying to launch. So there's also a huge benefit for the customer in terms of speed to market. Given this move to the cloud, do you think that EPSA is an interesting place to work for forward-thinking technologists? 
Well, I'm, I'm very biased where that's concerned, Wesley. I think APSA is a fantastic place to work when it comes to forward-thinking technologies. We're doing a lot of amazing and cool work, whether that is in the, you know, wide-scale cloud adoption, you know, things like Kubernetes, microservices. We're doing a lot of work in open source. And in many cases, we're doing a lot of leading and challenging work in these spaces. As part of our separation from Barclays, we use the product called SageMaker, which is an Amazon fully managed machine learning service. In this particular example, we had to analyze 48,000 pieces of content to decide what we had to rewrite and redevelop. What would normally take eight months to do, we did that in three hours. So, yep, a little bias, but a lot of great work that we're doing. So watch this space, there's a lot more coming as well. Thank you, Ibrahim. Dr. Tokazile, what are your thoughts on working for ABSA? Well, my thoughts are totally biased, but I believe justifiably so. ABSA is doing amazing things to reskill employees. At ABSA, we believe everyone is a leader. So we are investing in building leadership skills across the entire bank, across all levels of the organization. On top of that, we also believe in 4IR skills and we have many such initiatives. So the ABSA Cloud Incubator is a wonderful in initiative, but it's just one of other awesome things that we're doing. We have our Cybersecurity Academy, we have the APSA Digital Campus, we have Udemy for all colleagues. So we really are creating uh, an environment where learning at APSA is not something that we do. Learning is actually something that we are. So if, if you're excited about being in an organization that makes it a daily target to help you know, improve you and make you the best version of yourself, then APSA is the place for you. It's great to see APSA taking the lead in this area. Thank you both for this interesting discussion and sharing your insights. And I wish you all the success in the future.